morning. Today we're preparing for the sixth Sunday in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came down with them and stood on a stretch of level ground. A great crowd of his disciples and a large number of the people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal regions of Tyre and Sidon came to hear him. And raising his eyes toward his disciples, he said, Blessed are you who are poor, for the kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are now hungry, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who are now weeping, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude and insult you, and denounce your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice and leap for joy on that day. Behold, your reward will be great in heaven, for their ancestors treated the prophets in the same way. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. But woe to you who are filled now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will grieve and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for their ancestors treated the false prophets in this way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We call the Gospel, well, the word Gospel means good news. But this doesn't really sound like very good news here from Jesus today. Woe to you who are laughing. Quit laughing about this. It kind of, sounds kind of like the grouchy grandfather, right? Hey, quiet over there. Woe to you who are laughing. Woe to you who are rich. Woe to you who are filled. But what is Jesus really saying? Jesus is really saying, well, first of all, notice the beginning. He raises his eyes to his disciples. So he's talking to those people who are following him. And what does he say? He says, blessed are you who are poor. What does that really mean? It means blessed are you who have followed Jesus, who are following Jesus, and have become poor in doing so. How do we become poor by following Jesus? Well, let me give you an example. I think about when we have our, our baseball tournaments or our soccer games or practices and stuff like this. When we have those things and they go all weekend, right? Saturday night, Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon. And you're like, well, I'm not going to be able to go to church. I can't go to church because I have to go play in my soccer games and my baseball games, right? What if you said, I mean, Coach, I have to go to Mass. I have to go to Mass. So I'm going to be a little bit late to my, you know, insert sport here event. Right? That's poverty. <laughs> Believe me. I know. Right? We become poor. Well, why are you doing that? Not just because you don't want to play sports. You want to play sports. But you want to follow Jesus. And we know that going to Mass is where we encounter Jesus, where we are present with him. Blessed are you who are poor. Blessed are you who are hungry. Think about, we get ready, Lent is coming up here in a, about a month. Think about Ash Wednesday or Good Friday, these days when we fast. We fast from food to share in the sufferings of Jesus. Blessed are you who are hungry. We go hungry as a way of following Jesus. Blessed are you who mourn. When we admit that something hurts, but admit that something hurts in union with Jesus. Blessed are you when people don't speak well of you, okay? When they're not talking, about what, talking well about you because you're a Christian. That happens to us sometimes. Blessed are you when people don't speak well of you because you're following Jesus. So let me ask you, all of us, this question. Have I gone out of my way today to show my love for Jesus? Have I gone out of my way today to love God? There's a priest that I know who has kind of his examination of conscience every day. It's, how did I die to myself today? How did I die to myself for God today? And at the end of the day, we can't really say, well, I didn't really go out of my way. I didn't try to serve God in any particular way. I didn't, you know, exert myself. I didn't go out of my way to love God. That's when we're the rich, the laughing, the filled. That's when Jesus says, woe to us, because we're not living a generous life of love. We're not living a generous life 
as his disciples. So guys, let's ask ourselves here, what are we ready to give up for God? What are we ready to give up for God? Are we ready to think about that? Are we ready to pray about that? Are we ready to, to even to give up other things that we love? Because we want to make the most important thing in our life, our following of Christ, our following of God, and our following in the footsteps of Jesus. So God bless all of you. Have a great sixth Sunday of Ordinary Time.